he can then play the monk at the same exact level. That is a huge asset to have. And right now, if you're an NA fan, I agree with Zico. The boys are probably going to be your best hope at LAN. LAN is so crucial to get to because that is going to give the first spot of the year to go all the way to the finals. And now the gates are open. Change my mind. Decides to spice things up by bringing in Valet on the blind. He's instantly receiving pressure. Curious to see how it plays out with Minpoike on Druid rather than Restoration Shaman. Good life grip from Valet, pulling Minpoike out of the Mana Rift. Nice Shackle on the Abomination as well. Shadow Priest utility definitely used effectively in the starting stages of this fight. But then moving forward, Valet is still just getting pressured right now. They drop the Smoke Bomb. They go for an early kill on Raikou. Gladiators, Maledix, multiple incoming, huge stun combo. Trinket Darkness. Barely enough for Raikou to stay alive. Maybe not even enough. Blur as well. Multiple defensive cooldowns pulled with the anti-magic zone. Basically everything except Chaz's cooldowns. That's the most pressure we've really seen from Change My Mind facing Method Black, but inevitably they did not net a kill. So they've got a window of time to try and find one. They've got Vendetta. They could make a move with that. Akro is pressuring Chaz, trying to make him make a mistake in terms of cooldown management. Maybe bait an Iron Bark or something but not finding it, just running around the corner. They go for the swap to Chaz. Can Valet get over there? I don't think that he can, and I doubt that Acro is gonna be able to solo Chaz. That was a decent swap with no Gladiator's Medallion, but without the Shadow Priest support due to the fact that Valet is just pinned in center field, they do not have enough damage to push Chaz over. Definitely not. And then gets gripped in into an asphyxiate stun. Mana Rift lands on him. Mana in favor still of Change My Mind. Change My Mind putting in a lot of pressure. I think that last Vendetta would have been much better placed onto Raikou. If they could have got some crowd control onto Chaz, got the Vendetta attempt onto Raikou, I think he could have easily fallen. He didn't have any sort of defensive cooldowns whatsoever, so changed my mind. I think just a bit of a targeting error there on their last attempt on Chaz, but you can't really blame them. Pressuring down the Restoration Druid is usually pretty strong in this matchup. Raikou at about 50% health right now. Chaz trying to play catch up. There's been good pressure on the side of Method Black for Change My Mind. And uh, this is really the best we've seen them look. Yeah, this may be the answer for Method Black's composition potentially, but is it enough for all the other options that Method Black have available? Should they even manage to overcome it here in game number one? We do see Acro pressuring Chaz, a similar strategy we saw Peekaboo and WizK utilize when facing these Death Knight melee cleaves where you have the Rogue pressure the healer, the Shadow Priest focus on denying damage and pressuring back both of the melee players as much as possible. This is a way to create pressure on two locations and then force the healer, in this case Chaz, to potentially make a mistake on his defensive cooldown management. So far, the only mistake that we've seen is an overlap of darkness and anti-magic zone, but it was a fair exchange with the smoke bomb. Unfortunately, there's still a window of opportunity before it's available where they could find a kill. They managed to pull the Gladiator's Medallion from Chaz with the blind. Raikou Shadow melds the Gladiator's Maledict, avoiding that absorption effect. Good usage on his part, but Chaz is the one who is behind on mana. And once again, that is surprising because Raikou is running the Mana Rift strategy. It is not typical to see the opposing healer out mana the Mana Rift drew it. So, in this current position, I actually think they changed my mind are gonna pull it off. They definitely could, and that's one of the things we've seen teams sort of implement, is if you pressure Raikou enough, you make him scared, he doesn't have that same sort of uptime on the enemy restoration drill of Minpoike, as we normally see. Now charging forward, looking for a Mana Rift, and Poike trinkets out. And right now, changed my mind, they're doing a really good job. Minpoike, he's trading out his trinket to avoid Mana Rifts. Malay, he'll use his Leap of Faith to grip Minpoike out of Mana Rifts. And that's two escapes that Change My Mind have that they can rotate through to deny Raikou. In addition to that, they have a lot of pressure on Raikou, so this is why we're seeing Method Black kind of fall behind in terms of mana. Great pressure. There's a Psychic Core on a Chaz, and beautiful death grip there by Swapsy, denying Belay's follow-up Psychic Core. That was nice just crowd control denial by Method Black, and maybe the only reason Raikou's still alive. Blur Force from Raikou once again as Valet goes into Void Form. Double Psychic Scream. Good crowd control, Raikou cannot reverse magic. He's in a bit of trouble. Low on health, sap out of the psychic screen. Great setup by Acro. Darkness is the last line of defense here for Raikou as Chaz sits through crowd control. Minpoike follows it up. The chain looks solid. Raikou could fall if they've got any more left. They don't, they drop the smoke bomb. Raikou is able to escape. Minpoike now gets stunned up. Life grip to avoid the mana rift. Good teamwork between Minpoike and Valet. The only reason why Minpoike's mana is even even, but now that it is even, that's the same as being behind when facing the Mana Rift, so slowly slipping away for Change My Mind. 
They've got a couple more opportunities to find a kill. Blind available shortly, likely to pull the Gladiator's Medallion of Chaz. Then the Vendetta in 50 seconds from Acro. If they don't get a kill with that Vendetta, I think that Method Black are taking this. Yeah, it's going to be very scary for Change My Mind moving forward. Method Black have completely stabilized in the situation. Belay trying to help him and Pwike just a little bit, but the Vampiric Embrace getting a little bit of healing from the amount of damage that he deals with that cooldown. Full blind on Chaz, he trinkets out. What is Acro going to do? Gets a full kidney shot. Belay loading him up with Shadow Priest damage over time effects. They're looking for an all-in on Chaz. He bark skins. What else do they have available? Not too much. There's no darkness. There's no anti-magic zone. Chaz has to escape, but Slopsy with good backup. Once again, the death grip onto Acro. Chains of Ice. Look at how difficult it is for Acro to move in, although he uses his Vanish. Who's he going to open on? Is he just going to continue this all in on to Chaz? I'm not sure. I completely agree with this. Chaz switching his talents, running that Renewal, expecting to be the main target for Change My Mind. He gets a bonus heal rather than some mobility. There's an opportunity, as I was pointing out earlier, for Vendetta, and that's basically it. If Acro doesn't get a kill within the next couple of seconds, I don't think that they ever will. They've got everything available. Valet needs to build up some insanity. He wants to go in Void Form and assist Acro. Chaz exchanges Iron Bark for Vendetta and the Anti-Magic Zone. That should be more than enough, unless Valet can get in position and support right as that Anti-Magic Zone fades. Valet is focusing too much on trying to create pressure on the Demon Hunter and Death Knight. They just don't take damage to the Shadow Priest dots. Valet now has to disperse. He's going to recover. Acro pulls back to try and support, creating pressure onto two places. And the split strategy may be enough, potentially. Are there any more Gladiators Maledicts for the team of Change My Mind? It doesn't appear to be, and now Valet falls behind. He void shifts over to Minpoike. Frenzied Regeneration allows him to recover. Good communication between Valet and Minpoike throughout. No significant mistakes on their part, but still unable to develop pressure in favor of their team, and the man is totally even. Not what you want to see at this point in dampening. Chaz is likely to sit down for a drink. He's just distracting them, even if he doesn't get it. Valet still low on health. Minpoike still low on health. Nothing left in the tank in terms of Mana, it's do or die, but I think it's looking more like die as Belay is going to fall in game number one. 16 and 0. Two more wins to go. Uh -oh. Team of the move when facing these cleave compositions. He is the one who is going to have to set up everything for the team. I do think moving forward should change my mind. Lose here. I would love to just even Poike Mistweaver do an all in kill on Chaz, try and run him over, at least just to put a point on the board to break the curse, to break the slump. You don't want to go into the land 18 and 0 against Method Black. Do appreciate them trying different compositions outside of their comfort zone. And Poike trying to fish for a hibernate. Chaz dodges it, goes for a cyclone. That could be devastating for Valet as he's interrupted low on health. Now Minpoike stunned into a mana rift. Ursul's Vortex on the life grip. Good counter by Chaz. Great initiation by Chaz. Banking them huge pressure. Yeah, Method Black was just heating up. Another Cyclone on him and Poike. Valet could be forced into an early dispersion here. Does still have a lot of cooldowns he can rotate through. I think change my mind. It will stabilize here, but here's the attempt. Kidney shot, smoke bomb onto Raikou. Anti-magic zone gets dropped out. Oh! Swapsy, a lot of pressure, but he should be able to survive. Darkness gets dropped out. These are the Get him! we're talking about. If there was a ring of peace, they just remove the darkness. And they could just kill him, I swear. If they just had ring of peace on this composition. Yeah, it could have been the light that they need to remove the darkness, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen. And Poike with no trinket can be vulnerable. Valet getting lower. Big burst damage here by Swapsy and Raikou. Silence on Chaz's trinket. Raikou in a full kidney shot. Do they have the damage to take him down? Valet really not using mind control too much in this matchup. I'm kind of wondering why Change My Mind did pick this map. I guess Chaz doesn't have a lot of room to run and hide. Packer will be able to bounce around between targets a lot more on a map like Blade's Edge, especially if they're playing on the upper side of the bridge. All right, that was the big attack that we saw similarly to game number one, but it didn't get a kill, so it's going to be some time until Change My Mind can build that much momentum again to potentially take out Method Black. Good crowd control on Chaz. Raikou cross crowd controlled as well. Instant interrupt on the I-beam, denying a lot of damage from Raikou, but even still, Valet getting chopped up. Mana is even. You do not want to be even when facing the Mana Rift Demon Hunter. Oh, Valet mixing it up is running Mind Bomb instead of Psychic Scream, realizing that his mobility is heavily limited with a Death Knight casting Chains of Ice. He can then use the Mind Bomb as a ranged crowd control. This may be an interesting adaptation that nets them a kill on Raikou later on. Yeah, we'll have to see how exactly that plays out. So far, Method Black, they're looking good. Raikou still has his trinket available. Mana, actually relatively even at this point in the game. Chaz did sneak away, or potentially sneak away for a drink, but Acro was able to use his vanish and actually land the sap. That's where a lot of that earlier crowd control stemmed from. 
So good denial there by Acro and Valet. And I think on this map, it could be really difficult for Taz to actually escape and recover some of that mana. Whereas when Poike right now, he's in stealth. So I wonder if he's actually drinking right now. This could be huge for Change My Mind. All right, so let's see. He's managed to reset completely. They've got the Gladiator's Medallion from Chaz. This is an opportunity for Vendetta in 20 seconds. And with that huge mana lead, Change My Mind could potentially be saving Rich's mustache as I speak. I don't know about that one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> honestly, I'm kind of rooting for Method Black at this point. <laughs> you just, don't like it? Just to get rid of the must. No, I do like it. I do like it. But I think it would be funny if you had to shave it off. All right. Let's see what's going on in the game. That's a black. They've fully recovered at this point. He loves the look, but he just wants you to feel pain. Is basically what he just <laughs> said. <laughs> he, right. Ben came up to me today and showed me a picture of Gamescom, Gamescom last year, and went, "You should. You looked really good back then. What was different?" <laughs> wow! Wow! Dude. Ricky's just flaming everyone. Mind bomb into Sap. That was really well timed by Acro. They need to get pressure out with that crowd control chain. That Mind Bomb adaptation may potentially open up a window for Change My Mind to find victory. Chaz is still crowd controlled. Riker's locked down for two more seconds. Darkness one second away. Silence on Chaz. Now they're trying to hold on to it. Greedy play to try and hold on to it. Very low on health. Full Cyclone secured. Darkness, can you get a mind control? Maybe anything to pull him out of the defense. They use Mind Bomb defensively, I guess, to save the mission. Return Smoke Bomb right at the end of the darkness, but Raikou is able to retreat out. They need to the time to get more damage. By doing he has bit more damage. Yes, yeah, gets crowd controlled. Insane play from Change My Mind. They need to purge off that Gladiator safeguard. No way. No way. No, no way. way. Change My Mind cannot believe it. Raikou manages to stay alive. Iron Bark going to be enough from Chaz. Raikou just dancing with death, dancing circles around Change My Mind in order to survive. A nice cyclone coming in from Mpoike once again. Another one onto Chaz. Honestly, Mpoike has been doing such a good job on that restoration with this crowd control really setting up his team. Oh. Kidney shot full on Raikou. Do they have the damage? Ah. Finally take him down to triple chaos. Nova denies. Once again, Raikou just going to be kiting around on that Demon Hunter, avoiding a lot of damage. Still low, though. Chaz not out of crowd control. Has to play catch up at this point. 16 and 1, the dream? Maybe, potentially, for Change My Mind. They still have huge mana leads. They've got Vendetta with no darkness. Dampening is entered. Potentially, they make it to the 40% mark if they need to rely on that. Maybe they don't need to. Where is Chaz, though? He's not able to sneak away. I mean, Poike is looking for Cyclones. Chaz Trinkets out of blind. Now that Mind Bomb Sap. That could be a way for Acrolols to find victory. Beautiful talent change from Valet, mixing it up even though not changing classes, and now they've got huge momentum. Chaz is totally tapped on mana. Raikou needs to be careful if he overextends. He's got no darkness to rely on. Raikou jumps downstairs to stop Minpoike from drinking, but he overextends. Now caught out of line of sight. Chaz barely connects Iron Bark in time. Anti-Magic Zone appears, appears to be enough. Raikou is still very low on health, and Chaz is cycloned. Gladiator safeguard procs. Raikou gets stunned up. They need more crowd control. They can't get it. Minpoike is denied. Chaz dispels. Very risky dispel with Raikou that low on health. Overgrowth, though, now stabilizes, but that's the last overgrowth of the game. Chaz is totally tapped on mana. Where's the mind bomb? I want to see a mind bomb sap. They already used the vanish. They can't go for it. Cheap shot. Potentially mind bomb out. Mind bomb, but on diminishing return. Mistakes here on that diminishing return. Lose an opportunity for change my mind. Yeah, but change my mind. They're still looking really good in this matchup. They have so many defensive cooldowns. And Poike has a mana lead. Raikou just running and hiding at this point, allowing Swapsy to sort of pull aggro from Acro and Valet. Still has some defensive he can rotate through, but good pressure here for Change My Mind. Chaz caught in some crowd control. Swapsy could just fall. Anti-Magic Shell should be able to deny for long enough to Swapsy to actually get healed up just a little bit, but now Swapsy's having to run. This is a momentum shift for Change My Mind like we've never seen before. Swapsy and Raikou playing a little bit scared. All right, let's see what they can get done here. We're not at that 40% mark, but Swapsy is totally exposed in terms of defensive cooldowns. Smoke Bomb comes up in 15 seconds. If they can catch Swapsy in a Smoke Bomb, potentially KO him. Where's Chaz? Gets denied on his drink. Valet's in void form. He's gonna be ramping up. Raikou tries to slow him down. Valet trinkets out. Swapsy uses that every man for himself when it was just Acro, but he's out of line instead of Chaz. He's actually taking a huge amount of damage. Been unexpected from Change My Mind. Are they gonna break the slump? Chaz gets reversed out of the Mind Bomb. 
just in time, but zero mana left in the tank. And Poike's got Innervate rolling for a couple seconds. He can potentially stabilize the team for one more big push. Vendetta and 14, Shadow Fiend available. Change my mind, have powerhouse cooldowns available, but no mana to go past that point. Chaz is just running around the bridge like a jungle gym, looking to try and find a drink, but I think his mom did not pack an extra juice box. And Poike jumps in, denies the drink. Raikou's overextended, Belay dips low. Blur trades. Gladiator's Maledix incoming. Raikou is dispelled out of that, bashed up. Raikou recovers. Valet now on the back foot. Then Poike has more mana. Double defensive mind bomb, at least removing Swapsy from the fight. Valet is playing out of his mind to try and bre break this slump right now. Darkness gets dropped. Raikou barely surviving once again. How is he still alive? Darkness the last line of defense. There's nothing left for Method Black. Jazz has to heal on fumes. Acro with the beautiful interrupt. Change my mind. Looking to take down Do Method it. Black. Do Finally. it! Finally! Can they take him? What? Raikou just dancing around. Finally take him <laughs> down. Change my mind. Change the result of this matchup. I've watched Rich with a comb. You have a comb for your mustache. Hey, just because you don't need a comb doesn't mean I don't. Wow, that's, wow. that's a little... That's, uh, I'm done. That's a little bad manner. Acro moving in. What is he going to get done? Cheap shot on the swap. See, we saw in the last game, it was actually Raikou who was pressured for most of it. And I think, change my mind, that's going to be their main target of choice once again. Kidney shot on Raikou. I'm curious to see if Valet is going to be staying with that Mind Bomb adaptation onto Chaz, or if he's going to go back to the Psychic form. I think Mind Bomb worked out really well for him in the last game, so I expect that crowd control to stay the same. All right, let's see when Change My Mind decide to pull the trigger on their first big push. Gripped into a triple stun. This is devastating. Method Black could swing the momentum. They go for a smoke bomb counterattack. They're trying to bait Method Black to overextend. They're not falling for the bait. The smoke bomb has faded. Potentially they go all in, try and punish this under reaction. And Poiki secures a cyclone. Crowd control solid. The anti-magic zone now appears to be enough for Raikou as he is protected inside this purple bubble, opting to just leave the protection of the bubble immediately. No crowd control to follow up just yet. Now Valet will be on the back foot and looking to stabilize. And Poike pre-iron barks that incoming attack. Now they look to counter-engage with the silence. Acro Shadow steps over. Are they going to do it? They might be able to take Raikou down. Darkness gets dropped. How are they going to push through this? Right now, it doesn't look like they're able to. Raikou using that cover of darkness to stay alive in this situation. Chaz still with no iron bark. He's going to have to play catch up, but a mind bomb. bomb secured by Valet. And Voike in a good position to follow it up if he really needs to. Does, now he doesn't find the Cyclone. Nice attempt there by Raikou to deny that incoming crowd control to keep him alive. Valet and Akram and Poike are playing absolutely bonkers here in this series against Method Black. They've definitely stepped up their game. Curious to see what they can prepare for the spring finals, if they're going to be diversifying their roster or just continue focusing on mastery and focusing on some only their mains. It's going to be a decision that they need to make moving forward towards LAN. In this series, it seems to have finally been paying off, putting a game against Method Black. Crowd control initiated. Mind Bomb gets reversed by Raikou. Bash to follow up. Valet trying to dig in for a blur from Raikou, not finding enough damage to force it. I like these instant interrupts on I-Beam. Acro removing a lot of damage from the fight with that immediate reaction time. Mana is still in favor of Change My Mind. Darkness out of the way, Anti-Magic Zone out of the way, and Vendetta is shortly going to be available, and I'm curious to see where Acro decides to place it, potentially moving forward for a blind to try and bait Chaz to use Gladiator's Medallion, and then we see a swap. Chaz is in stealth. He's trying to drink. Acro tries to find him with Fan of Knives, but Chaz was able to avoid it. He's still in stealth. He's not seen. They don't know where he is. They don't know much mana he's managed to get, but he does not manage to get any. Changed my mind all over him, and this map is starting to backfire. Yeah, definitely. We'll have to see exactly how it works out. What I mean, Poike with that mana lead and Raikou oh. so much pressure. Things Beautiful. are looking good. Full sap onto Chaz. Nicely done. Vendetta gets committed onto Raikou. He uses his blur anti-magic zone. Trades again from Swapsy with that Vendetta. Raikou still under a lot of pressure. Ironbark looking to deny the kill. Chaz dispels Raikou, but now caught in additional crowd control. Raikou having to run away once again and change my mind. They've just been having so much pressure in these last three games. This is looking like a completely different matchup than we've seen in the last month. And Poike hops in, gets a bash, mind bomb. Oh, but it ends up breaking. Unfortunate. I believe Valet's void form activation broke it. Maybe it doesn't matter. Raikou is just taking so much damage right now. Acro moves to close. Can he connect? He can't make it. Swapsy peels him away, but Chaz is still cycloned. 
Raikou is hanging on by thread. Ursul's Vortex holds him in place. Acro moves over, reconnects, but they need crowd control. Ursul's Vortex pulls Raikou back in the fight. Kidney shot instantly on the I-beam. Acro has been shutting Raikou down instantly time and time again, really creating huge windows for his team. Now Cyclone low health by Minpoike as they look to reset the crowd control on Chaz. Shrink it out of blind. Minpoike fishing for another hibernate. Any of these hibernates may be enough for change my mind. Close the fight out. Chaz needs to be ready for it. Riker's still on the run. We've never really seen Method Black have such a difficult time in a tournament. And moving forward to the spring finals, this is going to get things interesting there. I'm really happy to see change my mind with this type of performance. Yeah, they are playing out of their minds at this point in the game. Chaz in stealth right now. I don't think he's going to be able to escape for a drink. Full stun onto Acro. Good peels by Swapsy. Honestly, to Swapsy's credit, he's been doing a really good job on point with his defensive cooldowns as well as his peels making it very difficult for Acro and Valet to chase down Raikou. And that's one of the problems. They get good pressure onto Raikou, but because the Demon Hunter has so much mobility and Chaz is always positioned very far away, that the Black can work as a unit where Raikou and Chaz, they run away. They get behind the pillar. Swapsy keeps snares on everyone and denies them to actually seal the deal onto Raikou because they are just getting him so low consistently in this match and just don't have enough damage to really end it. This next push has to, I believe, be a swap to Chaz. Any magic zone for Vendetta. Seems like they're still just pressuring Raikou. Mind control on the mana rift. Trying to stall out some of that, but it ends up breaking early. Minpoike is now even with Chaz. Not what you want to see in this specific matchup. Things are starting to get out of control. Four changed my mind with this Vendetta banking them. Only a blur. You would typically want to see more than that. Chaz bashed up. What can they get off this? Mind bomb. Crowd control is solid. Three seconds away. Two seconds away. One second away. Raikou has to trink it out. Oh, Chaz zapped. gets sapped out of the mind bomb. This crowd control chain that changed my mind have brought in. The mind bomb into sap is sick to say the least. Another sap. Acro's all over Chaz right now. Continuing the chain with the silence. That gladiator safeguard gets dispelled off. Raikou's so low on health. Valet just needs to get in the line of sight. And Poike moves in. He's trying to get a cyclone. Can he get the cyclone right as the diminishing return ends? He gets mind frozen. Then Poike needs to keep going for it if they want to keep their momentum. But Valet's being counter aggressed back. Mind bomb secured again. Raikou in trouble. Ducking around the corner. Catching an I beam. And that metamorphosis likely to not go down. But if they can make a big push, if they can survive another 50 seconds to Acro's Vendetta, potential for Change My Mind. That was such a sick play by Change My Mind, but Raikou just reacting beautifully, running away, hiding when he needed to. Now Blur is rotated back up. Chaz has Iron Bark. They can deny the next attempt from Change My Mind as long as they react to the situation appropriately. Chaz in stealth right now, potentially sneaking away for a drink. If he can recover mana, it's gonna be huge for Method Black. All right, let's see what they can get done. Where's the denial? Oh, he was distracted by Acro into a blind. Oh, I was almost expecting Acro to shadow step kidney shot Chaz on his trinket, but ends up going after Swapsy. Maybe just trying to stall the fight. And Poike trying to babysit Chaz. And more like Kitty Sit here is trying to stop him from drinking in cat form. But not able to. Now initiating crowd control. Bash hibernates. Not going to go for it. Instead, just running away. Bash into silence. Fishing for more cooldowns. They managed to pull blur, but they're still going for it. They get the kidney shot. Good crowd control, but as it fades, Chaz can connect Iron Bark. He doesn't have mana. Everything's going to come down to momentum. Can change my mind, develop enough damage here to push Raikou over so Chaz just cannot heal with how limited his mana is. The same can be said for Method Black. Everything's going to come down to the last couple of seconds. Yeah, definitely. And Valet on that Shadow Priest, keep in mind, that's some of the changes we saw. He's able to use that to spell magic quite often. I think that's why they have so much pressure on Raikou Chaz. He puts up the heal over time effects, and they just get dispelled off immediately by Valet. And at this point in dampening, with Chaz having absolutely no mana left, I don't know how he can heal up Raikou. It's looking like Change My Mind is going to claim game number three. And they do. Method Black, they need a different answer because this is not looking like a matchup in there of the two teams who would do better. Yeah, I, I think we will get back to that. I also still am the biggest fan. Thank you. Love you too. Just hugging out. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Change my mind are about to hug each other if they can manage to make it through Method Black, but this is a composition matchup that we've seen happen in North America, and it does not look too good for the Shadow Priest Rogue, so they are going to have to battle against all odds here on match point, but they've finally broken their slump, at least, against Method Black. Let's see what Waz can do substituting in on that Windwalker. Yeah, we'll definitely have to see what exactly he can get done. Waz Walker coming in for a second game of the day. Really getting pressured down already quite early. Touch of Death has been committed. What can they really get done? 
Chaz, like we kind of talked about, he's going to be a pressure point for the team. Acro kind of knows that, so he's moving forward, trying to see if Chaz is going to be making any mistakes, seeing what kind of pressure uh -oh. he can generate. But in the meantime, Belay's getting low, forced into dispersion, and Poike's going to have to play catch up. Waz doing a great job with Swapsy to really pressure change by mind. Waz gets bursted. Chaz is in crowd control. How are they going to respond? Any mistakes on match point? And that's it for Method Black in this tournament. And that is a poor display, to say the least, for their team overall, as we expect them to dominate the competition, but they're falling behind. Chaz trades Life Raccoon. Pressure is developing. Waz carrying the team. Tons of damage. And Poike connects a couple regrowth, Stabilizes for now. Now in crowd control, though. Could still be trouble for Valet. Waz continues to push forward, and Poike uses that Glyrus Medallion to get out of crowd control and start healing. Chaz is locked down in crowd control. Acro doing that split strategy, trying to create pressure into two points. Sets up for a Cyclone off the back of the stun from Poike. Good pressure on Waz. He ports away, but he's very far away from Chaz. How's Chaz going to get back to his team? Waz may need a Karma. Chaz can't make his way back. He's cycling on the way of the crane. He's trying to use that to heal through the line of sight, but Waz is still very far out of range. Finally, the way of the crane heals connect. Waz stays alive. Bit of a close call, and like I said, any mistake, and that's it for Method Black. Yeah, look at mana, though. Man, Poike already around 45%, so in terms of mana, change my mind, falling a little bit behind. Chaz now into a full KD shot. What is Acro going to be able to get done? Nice ring of peace there by Waz to back him up. Double leg sweep coming yeah. in. Play. What are you going to do? You're going to fall. And Method Black shows they still got it, tying up this series 2-2, two to two, but they may finally break the curse and take a series off Method Black, have a good shot at wildcard gaming as well. And this is exactly the type of momentum and morale building that they needed before the spring finals. Yep, definitely. One of these teams after this game will be marching towards the grand finals to play against Wildcard Gaming. Wildcard Gaming, I'm sure, is waiting in anticipation to see how exactly this matchup plays out. Both mages, center field, going to be building up damage with their Frost Bolts early on. The sap has been found on the Swapsy by Acro. Both Druids actually just Chaz sitting in south right now. Who are they going to open up on? And Poike finding an early Cyclone. And then Poike actually playing the Balance Affinity right now, looking to avoid some of that crowd control from Raku and extending the range on his spells. But maybe Swapsy and Raku can make a swap on him in Poike and punish that uh, offensive de talent decision. Likely Swapsy running the Spirit Wolf Spectral Recovery build on Shaman. So he's going to be focusing heavily on Ghost Wolf to survive through these attacks. And what needs to happen is that uh, we see the Mage of Fried Kitty remove the Ghost Wolf with spell steal frequently during the Kidney Shot moments. If they can coordinate that together. Swapsy is likely to go down. Currently decent damage towards Fried Kitty, but with Icy Veins activated, you would expect that Swapsy needs to be afraid. Stunned up out of Ghost Wolf. Good opportunity, but Chaz connected an Iron Bark right before that crowd control chain started. This Iron Bark is reducing a significant amount of damage, allowing Swapsy to get out of the stun and start running and easily survive. Nice read by Chaz. Yeah, good denial of crowd control by Raikou. He got three sheeps on a fried kitty, denying his damage, denying the follow-up crowd control, and then landed a nice counter spell on the Poike as well. So good plays. Raikou's going to have to play point guard for his team right now. Swapsy, for the most part, is going to be tunneled down by Acro. A lot of pressure going to be there, and Raikou is going to be the one that has to stop the crowd control and start building momentum for his team. Fried kitty is just getting destroyed right now. Very low on health. And Poike got counter spelled on a cyclone. Team's falling behind, now stable with Iron Bark. Fried Kitty likely to go for a push here shortly. Has Frozen Orb available. Currently waiting to see when they're going to initiate the attack. They've got a big mana advantage at least, even if they want to just keep focusing on pressure. Fried Kitty under fire, triple crowd control for Method Black. Can't count them out just yet. It's match point, and they could take this. Advance for a rematch. Full Polymorph snuck in on the Min Poike. Yes, use the Gladiator's Medallion. Gets Polymorphed again on the Gladiator's Medallion. Fried Kitty, this could be a nice block. So low on health. Huge damage from Raikou. He's been left open while Swapsy's being pressured. Still lots of damage. No defense other than Ice Block. Poike out of line of sight with Tranquility manages to stabilize. But again, even the slightest mistake could cause change my mind the match. Yeah, definitely. You can never count Method Black out of a matchup like this. Their backs are against the wall right now, but they're looking for that rematch against Wildcard Gaming. Full bash on him in Poike. Polymorph on a Fried Kitty. Akro still trying to generate some pressure for Swa on to Swapsy. There's the Kleptomania coming in from Fried Kitty. Taking a lot of pressure now. Swapsy getting low. Full Polymorph on to Chaz. Is he going to trick it out of it? Swapsy trying to kite away. Good Polymorph there by Raikou in order to slow Ra Akro's damage just a little bit on the Swapsy. But Swapsy in this Ghost Wolf is just so durable. It's difficult for Akro and the Fried Kitty to really take him down outside of that kidney shot. The main objective was to get Astral Shift without Vendetta. Now those cool 
cooldowns are not lined up. And Macro looks like he's actually making a swap, but Fried Kitty wasn't ready. He got blasted while they tried to make that swap and had to ice block. So now that Vendetta advantage is lost, and they're put behind on defensive cooldowns moving forward. Fried Kitty gets Cycloned up. Mana in favor of Vinpoike. Chaz needs to try and work on finding a drink. He's currently in cat form, far away from the fight, and is sitting down. Is anyone going to stop him? Instead, they just go for the kill. It's going to be a bit of a race. Akron gets thunderstormed away. Not able to connect. Swapsy survives the stun. Chaz drank to a mana advantage, and things are now looking good for Method Black. Yeah, Akro getting a little bit of pressure here on Raku, but Raku controlling him up. Icy Veins has been used by Raku. He's trying to get really aggressive on a Fried Kitty, but they can get the second Ice Block. This is going to be huge for Method Black. Fried Kitty just being a punching bag in center field right now for Swapsy and Raku. If there's any crowd control on him in Poike, he can burst him down. Raku with a nice blink counter spell on him in Poike, denying his Cyclone. Fried Kitty now getting aggressive with his own Icy Veins on a Raku. This could be his first Ice Block in the match, but no. Chaz denies it, good healing, as both mages are hovering around 50% health. Lightning lasso, Acro can't support. Lots of damage, and Poike tried to deny the kill. With Iron Bark, it appears to be enough. I'm almost wondering if we see change my mind, change targets, or if they're content with continuing this chase after Swapsy. They do actually switch to Raikou. Chaz gets interrupted. Good initiation on Acro's part. This could net them an ice block if they can continue the chain. Not able to, unfortunately. Chaz now connects a lot of heals and gets a Cyclone of his own onto Minpoike. Fried Kitty could be in trouble. Lightning Lasso, triple crowd control, looks solid from Method Black, and despite being compositionally disadvantaged, they have good momentum. They're even on mana, and as dampening begins, still anyone's game. Yep, definitely dampening now at 2%. And if we look at mana, both druids relatively even. There's a full bash onto Chaz, looking for a Ring of Frost. Now they're going to be able to find a no. Minpoike gets the Cyclone, though. And now Raikou could be in some trouble. I think changed my mind. They realized going after Swapsy wasn't necessarily the best idea. So at least at this point, before dampening really kicks in, they're going to be looking to control up Raikou a little bit more. But here's the Smoke Bomb attempt onto Swapsy. They changed target. Chas wasn't able to get any heal over time effects. He runs into the Smoke Bomb. It's looking like Swapsy's going to be OK. Change my mind is run out of damage and Swapsy completely stabilizes. They're running out of steam. Method Black are going to have free reign for a few moments here with no Vendetta and no Icy Veins to threaten back. This is not too good for Change My Mind. Fried Kitty falls behind. Benpoike tries to jump away from incoming crowd control, but now Fried Kitty's in a lightning lasso. Is it going to be enough to take him down? Doesn't appear to be. Raikou finally being pressured. Chaz is slowly falling behind a mana, but now sits down. Who's going to stop him? He's far away from the fight. Akro's trying to find him, but. Not sure if he's going to be able to. He denies it. Good denial from Akro. Oh, no, he got a little bit. And a little bit is a lot in this case now at 9%, moving towards 9% dampening. And Poike's going to have to try and find a drink if he wants to keep his team in this. But if he leaves the fight, Akro doesn't have Cloak of Shadows and could go down. Yeah, definitely. Akro in a little bit of trouble in midfield right now. Chaz sitting down for another drink. Method Black in a commanding position. If Chaz can completely reset his mana, Changed my mind, may have thrown away this map and thrown away this series and thrown away this tournament. There's a lot on the line in this game number five. Changed my mind's gonna have to try to make something happen because right now, Method Black, they're looking solid. They have all their defensive cooldowns. Changed my mind hasn't been able to really force any of them. Fried Kitty being swatted away, forced to run behind the pillar as Raikou and Swapsy looking to push in and close out the game. I mean, at this point, it's gonna be overwhelming. Method Black have so much defense, aside from a swap to Chaz right now with Vendetta and Icy Veins, potentially. Fried Kitty is the one that's behind. Chaz is in crowd control, and Fried Kitty is the one who is dying. That is not what you want to have happen as the team have changed my mind. Huge lead for Method Black right now at 15% dampening. Raikou has Icy Veins rolling. He could be doing huge damage, and Acro is trying to stall him down. Minpoike sits down. Chaz finds him. How much mana did Minpoike ultimately get? It's better than nothing. Cyclones up Chaz. Big counterattack. Even though Minpoike didn't get mana, he distracted Chaz long enough for his team to burst down and get an ice block from Raikou. Good awareness there on Minpoike's part. If they can do that again, potentially they stay in this. Yeah, and look at Fried Kitty. Cold snap up in 45 seconds. So that means, change my mind, they're going to have an opportunity to get three ice blocks in this game. Whereas for Raikou, I don't know if it's likely we see that cold snap come off cooldown. So if change my mind can work through one more from Raikou, 
He's going to be such a vulnerable target moving forward. And Mpoika getting bashed up. Chaz looking for a Cyclone. Fry Kitty tried to deny it, but really good positioning there by Chaz. Getting out of the line of sight, denying the interrupt, and as well, laying uh. top control on him. And Poike, that's going to force him into his second ice block. And once again, Method Black, they're looking good. But luckily for Fry Kitty, cold snap in 10 seconds should be able to hold on. Behind on mana, behind on ice blocks, just playing from behind, period. Changed my mind. Need to start pressuring forward. Chaz is comfortably sitting through a blind. Do they have a sap? They don't have a sap. That's devastating now for Change My Mind. They needed to get the Gladiator's Medallion. Maybe Fried Kitty can carry. Securing a counter spell. Huge Comet Storm, but Acro can't connect. He's just caught in a polymorph. No dispel for him. He's too far out of line of sight. If Acro was able to make it to the target, Raikou may have had to use his second ice block. Fried Kitty fortunately has another one available. And Poike trying to stall it out with Iron Bark. Triple crowd control for Change My Mind. With this push, they need to get an ice block. They aren't able, they do continue the chain. Great Cyclone by Min Poike, but Fried Kitty is once again the one under fire. Chaz is in crowd control, but Fried Kitty is dying. Swapsy is just soloing him with huge pressure. He has to ice block. Fried Kitty launched a Gladiator's Maledict right before going into that, though, for counter aggression to try and force Raikou into his, and they get it. They've tied it up. Yep, no mages have an ice block left for quite some time. It's going to be four minutes, and I don't think we have four minutes left on this match. Raikou now into a kidney shot, and I think Swapsy, with the amount of purges he's been able to throw in this matchup, really thrown Minpoike off. Poike almost completely tapped on mana, looking for a drink. He's going to be able to get it. Swapsy charging in, looking to take down Fry Kitty. Oh. Basically solo him down once again. Raikou's been left behind, but he gets a polymorph onto Acro. Now he's completely fine. And Poike recovers some of his mana, though, and that is so precious oh, no. at this point in the game. Lightning Lasso, triple crowd control. It looks solid for Method Black. All they need is the tiniest bit more damage. Then Poike got Iron Bark out just in the nick of time. It absorbed a huge hit on that Earth Shock, and it might just be enough damage reduction for Fry Kitty to stay alive. Potentially in desperation. If he can stay alive here, they'll have an opportunity to cycle him on the tranquility. That's devastating for Minpoike. He needs to time his heels perfectly out of the cycle and goes for the regrowth. Gets it. Fried Kitty stabilizes. Acro Change hero. my mind. Are they going to be able to counterattack off those stuns of Acro? It doesn't appear to be the case, but at least they stay alive, keeping their tournament dreams in it here and having one more opportunity to take out Method Black for the first time in the spring season. Acro with a beautiful Shadow Meld re-stealth. Got the kidney shot on Chaz, cheap shot on Raikou, cheap shot on Swapsy, and that's the only reason why Fried Kitty is still alive in this match. Fried Kitty has the icy veins. They just need to find the moment oh to no! use it. Lightning Lasso looking to close out this series. Swapsy with huge burst damage with a polymorph on Minpoike. Fried Kitty looking to oh! Oh! Oh, low. Is he going to be able to hold on? What? And Poike trinkets out into another cyclone. Beautiful Comet oh, Storm. Acro with another. He clogged it. Onto Raikou. Fry Kitty now. Stormkeeper. Zap, zap, blink. Stays in it. Barely <laughs> holding on. Swaps. You just can't believe it. He's like, just fall over, Fry Kitty, at this point. Then Poike holds out. Another lightning lasso. He bashes it. He breaks the chain. Raikou still has no ice blocks. If Fry Kitty can stabilize, they've got icy veins. They've got Vendetta. Fry Kitty's full health. They can pull the trigger, but Change My Mind can actually do this if they can connect. Then Point gets this effort. You do not want to drink too long. Fried Kitty's <laughs> still so low. Now bashed. Fried Kitty out midfield again. Blasted. Blinks at 1%. One more icicle takes them down. And they came so close so far. Feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.